So what kind of fabrics are, are particularly um, good at recovering from creases? Well, primarily the, uh, the high-twist fabrics that we have. Okay. They are in the Explorer bunch. They are really important for, for the crease recovery and the fact that they have a natural resilience and crispiness to ensure that they don't pick up the creases. Uh, also, mohair is a natural fibre that allows the, the creases and the crease recovery to happen. And ultimately, we also are very fortunate to have an exclusive arrangement with Escorial, uh, our partners, and we develop an Escorial collection that has very, very good properties of crease recovery due to the very special and unique helical crimp in the uh, fibre. So the Escorial is without the high twist at all? Yeah, it's a natural uh, uh, fibre. The, the Escorial sheep have been kept pure for 600 years. Mm -hmm. They originally came from uh, Spain, around the El Escorial Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, they have now been looked after by a family called Radford. Peter Radford was instrumental in bringing the sheep uh, flocks to Australia and New Zealand. Uh, and they are now 46,000 in number, which is a very, very small number. Oh, really? Rarer than Vicuna. <laughs> Rarer than Vicuna. And these sheep produce this very unique... Uh, corkscrew fiber, helical, mm -hmm. uh, and that creates properties within the fabric that are unique. Uh, the memory, fabric memory of the garments are unbelievable, and the performance due to pilling and abrasion are also superior to lots of other natural fibers. So merino would never reach the, uh, the, the level of crimp of an escorial? No, they wouldn't. But merino is obviously much widely available, That's right. uh, and we use an awful lot of merino wool at the same yes. time. And the merino that with a very high crimp would be quite expensive, I imagine? Well, you can't get it. it, oh, okay. it, 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 they, they, it they are actually in the same sort of pool, but they are a, a different genetic strain. And therefore, the, Escor the, the Escorial sheep is three quarters of the size, and we can genetically demonstrate that they are different to the merino sheep and have a much more corkscrew fibre. Descorial is also a very soft fibre. It is. Uh, obviously the, the wool, this is some uh, treated wool, you can just feel how soft it is. And this is Escorial? It I'm is, yes. yes. Oh wow, yeah, it does yeah. feel like cashmere. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And what, what we like to demonstrate is just how voluminous the, uh, the fibre is as well. That's These right. two are actually the, exactly the same weight of wool, uh, a standard wool and an escorial wool. So I, I see here uh, three grams of each, three yes. grams of superfine wool, yeah. three grams of escorial. And we wool. can demonstrate that just how how yeah, the volume. large the volume yeah. is. And what this allows us to do is to create fabrics that behave in a much more softer, more beautiful way. So you get a, a really soft garment, fluffy one. Yeah, well, f fluffy, yes, but actually that when it translates into the garment, that you, you don't notice this volume to the same degree, mm -hmm. but to touch it, you will instantly recognize how soft and, uh, right. and almost delicious the fabric is. That's right. But how is the durability, though? The durability is really good. Because of this corkscrew, it means that if you were to test the abrasion and the pilling of the fabric, it would perform in a very good way better than standard, for example, for cashmere. So therefore, if you have a suit of escorial, uh, or even comparing to wool, the escorial garment will perform really, really well. I have several escorial garments, and they are some of the nicest garments that I wear.